Welcome back to another NBA recap video. It's still the All-Star break, so stuff is slow in the news, but according to Shams, he did say that the Warriors' dream scenario for this summer is Giannis onto the Kumbo. Now, obviously, a lot would have to happen, and I'd go as far as saying this wouldn't even be possible this summer, no matter how early the Bucks get eliminated, just because of coaching changes. They're getting continuity under Damian Lillard and Giannis, and it just seems like they're going to need to give it more time, but maybe down the road, Giannis honest to the Warriors could be something that we want to watch because what is clear with the Warriors is they still want to make one last push with this core. It's unclear. Maybe Clay Thompson will have some outside interest this offseason, but when you're talking about building around Steph Curry, they want to make one more push. There's been rumors about them trying to trade for LeBron. There's been rumors that if Kevin Durant gets unhappy in Phoenix or if Paul George hits free agency this summer, then they could be looking for those overall the general sense according to the athletic champ and Anthony Slather, Warriors reporter there. They want another star two-way wing to pair alongside Stephen Curry and obviously LeBron, KD, and PG all fit that mold, but Giannis, it makes sense that he would be the dream scenario and the dream landing spot because he is one of the best, if not the best, two-way wings in all of basketball right now. So definitely it's a fun hypothetical to keep track of and you may say there's no chance it's happening, but if Shams is reporting it, then that means there are some sources that are at least going to keep an eye on so it's worth talking about. And with it being the All-Star break, it's just fun to talk about these type of hypotheticals. Speaking of some trade talk, this one could possibly happen as soon as this offseason, and that's the Hawks potentially moving Trey Young. Now, the Spurs have been linked as a potential fit, and Trey Young was asked about the type of players that the Spurs need to build along Wemby, and he said with a smile, the kind of player that can help him win a championship, make his job easier, and isn't that exactly what Trey Young does? He could help elevate them, and he would definitely help make his job easier easier because with all the controversy about the Spurs not being able to pass the ball well enough to Wemby, imagine if Trey Young was there, one of the best pick and roll ball handlers and passers in all of basketball. If Trey Young and Wemby play together, that would be an offensive explosion on a nightly basis. To cap off this video, JJ Redick said amid Doc Rivers' 3-7 and seven start with the Bucks, I've seen the trend for years. The trend is always making excuses. Doc, we get it. Taking over a team in the middle of a season is hard. It's always an excuse and he's basically saying it's never accountability with that guy. And this is notable because that's coming from a player that started on Doc Rivers' Clippers team. And then Patrick Beverly said, this man, Doc, actually saved your career, saying that basically no one else wanted him. And then he goes and retires and says that on TV. And then JJ Redick is basically responding, saying, get out of here would saved my career to Patrick Beverly. So whose side are you on with JJ Redick and Patrick Beverly? Then Austin Rivers, Doc's son, said, in terms terms of accountability, your best years in the NBA were when you played for him in the Clippers, so it's kind of ironic. So whose side are you on? Because JJ Redick is ripping that it's always excuses and never accountability with Doc, but then as Pat Bev and Austin Rivers point out, his best years were when he was playing under Doc Rivers. Subscribe if you like these videos. That's the best from NBA right now in the All-Star break.